a group of people got together and they met on Ferris Street. They called Ferris Street was the mecca where all of the civil rights efforts were generated at that time. When, when they got here to Jackson, they said, well, what are we gonna call ourselves? And everybody said, well, we all are friends and we did come here to support children. So one lady said, that's a good name right there, Friends of Children. After two weeks, I asked them, what were the books? They said, we don't have any books. We don't have any money. We operated for 13 weeks without any federal or state money. But the state was not supporting the effort of start. And as a result of that, we start quote unquote begging, pleading with people for donations, contributions, and what have you. It was a frightening experience because you know the establishment was against everything that you put forward and they tried to do everything they could to put you under. But there was enough support from people in June. We're not gonna let this turn us around. People then were very strong in terms of committed to a challenge that they felt like was beneficial for their children and themselves. It's still happening now. <laughs> People have to realize that, that to break that cycle of poverty, you're gonna have to work together. If you don't work together, you can hang it up. I never did think myself as a civil rights individual. I'm just a country boy from Waynesburg, Mississippi. I want to make a difference in the lives of children and families. That's, that's all I've ever done.